In this video, I'm going to walk you through how to configure the S3 media library for Sanity, the plugin that I've made. Um, when you first install it, you're going to see these new two videos and audio under parentheses S3. And then when you open it, you get this first time setup form where you're going to have to follow a set of instructions to actually get uh, these values. So the first thing we do, I'm here in the console home for uh, for AWS, you're gonna, go, you're gonna go into S3 or you can search here. And then in S3, you're gonna create your bucket for the first time. If you already have one, that's a different setup. Just make sure uh, you already, you follow the instructions, the configurations we see here. So I'm gonna name my bucket Sanity to S3. Um, I'm going to use US East 2, but you choose whatever region uh, you want. Just make sure you remember this later. Um, in object ownership, we're going to do ACLs enabled and object writer. Um, then we are going to make the bucket public. So we're not going to block uh, public access. We're going to untick this and we're going to acknowledge that the current settings might result in this bucket and the object within becoming public. So we're assuming that um, given this content is gonna be live, it's gonna be accessible through an URL, that the bucket should be public. If you have different um, different requests or setup uh, requirements that you need, then do reach out. Um, in bucket versioning, just keep disabled, tags, uh, if you need, you can use them, um, and also disable encryption. In advanced settings, we're also going to keep object lock disabled. So we're going to create the bucket. And now the bucket is ready to go. Next step, and I would leave this tab open for the bucket. The next step is to create the IAM, IAM role uh, to run your Lambda function. So I'm going to search for IAM, open in a new tab. And now I'm going to go into policies. That's my first one. I'm going to create a new policy that has the same name as the bucket. So uh, let's choose a service, do S3, because this is uh, an access policy uh, to actually interact with the S3 service. What we're going to need is write being put object put or delete object and also in permissions management put object ACL uh, with these three we can now go into resources and now we're going to choose that bucket that we have that bucket the name of it is uh, sanity to s3 so I'm going to name that sanity to s3 and then the object name, I'm going to put any because uh, this policy should access any objects there. So I'm going to add this. Now in request conditions, I don't need to uh, change anything here. I'm just going to go into tags. Also nothing here. Then review. So just to make sure we got the write and permissions management, specifically the put object, uh, put object ACL and delete object uh, actions. And then I'm going to name this um, Sanity to S3 policy. Um, and that's it. So I'm going to create this. You could, of course, uh, add a description, something that your team is going to remember later on. Um, OK, we're good to go. So from this policy, we're going to go into roles and finally go in and create the role for uh, the Lambda functions. So we're going to choose AWS services service as the trusted entity type. Uh, the use case is Lambda. So we can click on that, go into next. And now we're going to choose that policy that we just created. And that's why we need that. Um, nothing on permissions boundary, boundary that you need to change. Um, now click next. And then again, let's create a name for it that we're going to remember later. So send it to S3 row. Um, and then I'm going to just leave the description empty. Um, and yeah, we are good to go with permissions. We don't need to change uh, trusted entities uh, and tags are good as well. So I'm going to create the role.
there you go now it's created we are ready to go in and create the actual lambda functions so i don't need to leave the iam role management um, tab open so i'm just going to go in here and look for lambda which is going to take me to the dashboard with all of the functions so i'm going to click on create function author from scratch i'm going to again uh, prefix with the bucket name so sanity to s3 um, get signed url so it's a lengthy name but it just helps me remind remember what's what's the purpose of it the runtime can be node architecture can be uh, x86 64 and then the execution role we're gonna use an existing one and that's where our sanity trust 3 role is gonna come in then in advanced settings um, we're going to enable function url so this way we have an hp endpoint that we can access the lambda, the lambda function and actually go in and configure the first time um, so i'm going to choose none for the auth type just so then it's uh, open uh, from sanity we don't need to use an iam user if you do have a, again a requirement that you gotta follow the strictest of rules then uh, do reach out um, and yeah if you want to read through the policy statement it's there you're also gonna want to configure cross origin resource sharing uh, course <laughs> so then you can actually access this URL from the browser from your Sanity Studios so I'm gonna click on create function and then before we get into the code, I just want to make sure we go in and configure the function URL properly. So we're going to go into configuration, function URL, and then click on edit. Um, now we're going to allow headers, the header being content, content type, and the allowed methods. We can just do a start. We could also just do get, post, and delete, which are the ones used by these functions, but uh, the start is easier. Um, and just uh, the reason why we're doing this is to make sure we actually get the access control allow origin header back from the function um, because uh, S3 or Lambda is not going to work. It's not going to send this header if we have a specific header content or a method that is not allowed um, in the function URL. So we're going to save this. Now we're good to go for the get signed URL function. Um, you're gonna find in the external DAM uh, plugin there is um, if you go into uh, S3, there is this get signed URL.example. It's also linked from the documentation. I'm gonna go into the raw version of it, copy this, and paste that into my code. Now all I need to do is to configure my bucket. So again, it's sending to S3, that's the name of the bucket. And my region, again, it's US East 2. So I'm going to set that there. I could also have a secret. I'm not going to have it for this specific example. Um, and then all the rest is just boilerplate code. You don't really need to have to worry about that, but uh, it's also quite readable, so do check out if you want to see what it's doing. But it's basically sending us a signed URL um, that we can use to post objects, media, from the media plugin, uh, from the front end, without having the user log into AWS with IAM or anything like that. So um, now that I've set that, I'm just gonna open the function URL. And I can see I got the, the actual URL for posting objects, which is great. So I'm going to copy this URL and I'm going to go back to my first time setup. This is the endpoint for getting the signed URL. That's good. I'm going to paste that there. Uh, the bucket key is the name of the bucket. So send the US3. And the bucket region is US East 2. The endpoint for deleting an object in S3, that's, um, that's something we still need to do. So I'm going to go back to Lambda, to the root of Lambda create a function again author from scratch again i'm gonna do sanity to s3 and then delete object 
permissions, we're going to use the same role as we did before. So send request three role advanced settings. We also want to enable functional role with none and course enabled. So create the function. And then from configuration, again, that's first step. We go into a function URL and we edit this and we're going to make sure we allow the header content type and that we allow any method. In this case, we could just do post and delete, but this is good to go. Then we save and likewise we did before. We're going to go in and open the delete object.xample.js file, go into the raw version of it so we can copy the full file. And in the code tab, in the Lambda function, I'm going to paste this and again, configure uh, the bucket and the region. So the region US is 2 and the bucket is sanity 2 S3. Um, if you want, you can also um, collapse these into a single function, which is something I plan to do. But right now, that's that will be a breaking change. So um, that's a plan for V1. But then we can only we need only to configure a single lambda function, which is uh, is a better better approach. Okay, so I'm gonna click on deploy, and now we have the function URL. And let's paste that in here. I'm not sure if I deployed the other one, so just to make sure I'm gonna go back. Actually, I did. I did. Okay. So this is good. Uh, the secret you're probably gonna have to uh, just do an empty space if you're not using it because Right now, this input is broken, but when you set up credentials, you can go in and upload, upload new file. And I have this test video. All right, so we actually got an error, and that is great because we can see a real world scenario of where things could go wrong. So I'm going to open my network tab and retry. And we can see uh, it's erroring out when we have this um, the actual upload to the bucket. Uh, although it is getting a status code of 200, so it is working and if we open uh, our object in the bucket, we're going to see we have the uploads and I did it three times already. Um, but the issue is with course, as you can see here. Um, so we're not exposing the access control allow origin header from the bucket itself. It's erring out. So I'm going to go into my bucket into permissions. And at the very bottom, we have this cross-origin resource sharing um, portion where we have to pass in a proper JSON for that. So if we go back to the um, to the file here in GitHub for S3 cores that example by JSON, we can simply copy all of this um, and configure that. So I am going to allow pretty much from any origin to be honest, uh, but you should probably just do the localhost 3333 from Sendity and your live studios. Um, but yeah, in this case, I'm just gonna do a star and anything can, can post or catch. Um, so save changes. And now if we come back here and we retry, let's save into the library and it worked. Uh, one tip I would make is uh, before uh, calling in the day, try the delete function. Make sure that function is also returning the proper uh, response. It did. So if we were to go into objects, given we added a new one and deleted it, I would expect still to see only three of them. Um, so yeah, this is how this works. If you have any questions, do reach out to me in person and have a great day. Bye-bye.